can need to go to a certain place. A terrible letter? Yes, from a person that won't acknowledge that Klee and Do the core family. They even said they want to test Klee and have Klee go to Dodo Land, but... but... There's no need to rush! Slow down! A very bad, bad, bad guy! He's called Dodo King. Who's Dodo King? Paimon also hasn't heard of him? Nope. Wait! Why did you say also? Because even Klee has never heard of him. Ah, uh, he's probably just some weirdo. I went to go find Albedo, but he's not home, so I thought of you. Let me read you the letter that Dodo King wrote. <clears throat> Wicked girl of flame, I am of the Dodo clan. Uh, Klee can't read this part. Mmm... In the name of Dodo King, you are not qualified to become Dodoko's new family. <laughs> Unless you bring Dodoko to the Golden Apple Archipelago, light for, uh, except the, um, I don't know some of these words. Let Paimon have a look. This word is Overlord, which means he's the most powerful guy around, and what he says goes. This part reads, Light four beacons and knock upon the trialist gate. Hmm, probably to accept some kind of challenge. The last word is Arbitrate, which, uh, which means he wants to judge you. Arbo... Um, Arbor... Tree? Ugh, it's nothing good anyway. He'll judge and criticize you while pretending to be the good guy. How could this be? Dodoko is my bestest friend, so I'll never give Dodoko to him. But he said he's the strongest of the Dodo clan. Hmm. Could the Dodo clan be Dodoko's family? From the names, it seems like it. But Klee, where is this Golden Apple Archipelago? I don't know. What? Well, this is also the first time Klee has heard of the Golden Apple Archipelago. Golden Apple Archipelago. Hmm. It's probably an island with lots of apples. Ah. <laughs> uh. The only things written on the letter were what Klee just read out to us. And there's no signature. Klee, did this letter come with an envelope? Nope. I don't know, it suddenly appeared on my room's windowsill. Dodo King, Dodo Clan. If Paimon remembers correctly, Dodo Ko is the toy hanging on Klee's backpack, right? No, Dodoko is my bestest friend, not some toy. Oh, uh, right, what a magical creature Dodoko is. Uh, but all this sudden talk about family and whatnot is pretty strange. It feels like it might be a prank. If it's just a prank, then we should ignore it. No, no way! I'll never admit defeat. I have to go there. But we've never... A place. Miss Honorary Knight, you know what to do, right? Klee believes in you. Even if we did know what to do... Uh, I'm begging you, please, please help me. My mom feels like if we don't agree to help, she'll go off on her own. That'd be dangerous. Rather than letting Klee go adventuring off by herself, it'd be better if we accompany her. Oh, please, please! Ah, uh, how can we say no after seeing you try so hard? But since we're going together, you need to be well behaved and not run off by yourself. Okay. As per usual, let's start by asking around for some info. Let's walk around the city and ask some people who might know something about the situation. Cyrus, we want to 
feel about a place. You'll know it, won't you? Won't you? Oh? <laughs> the little adventurer looks troubled. Have you all encountered some sort of problem? Uh, you could say that. Basically, we want to find a certain archipelago, but it seems no one's ever even heard of it. So we came here to ask you, a seasoned adventurer. <laughs> if you seek unknown lands or adventuring knowledge, then you've come to the right man. What kind of archipelago are you all looking for? It has lots of small islands on the sea. It's called the Golden Apple Archipelago. Golden Apple Archipelago? Uh, hmm. <laughs> You're all amazing! You've managed to find a place that even I, the Great Cyrus, haven't heard of! What? Even you don't know of it? Indeed! Who would have thought that even Cyrus, the branch master of the Adventurers Guild, wouldn't know anything? Could it be that these islands don't exist? <laughs> uh, come now, <laughs> don't be like that. Oh, how can this be? <sighs> oh, Dodoko. strange things. After all, souvenirs do come in all shapes and sizes from a variety of places. Strange things? What do you mean? Do you know about the Golden Apple Archipelago? It's made up of lots of small islands and located somewhere in the sea. <laughs> Aren't all archipelagos made of small islands and situated at sea? That's right. Oh, uh, right. Uh, then let's hide on Different question. Are there archipelagos in Mondstadt? Not as far as I know. You've seen a map of Mondstadt, haven't you? All known islands are already charted, so check it out. Generally speaking, maps will faithfully record the land's topography. For most people, if it's not on a map, it doesn't exist. Mondstadt's map doesn't show any, so that must mean there are none. A place that doesn't exist? Uh, sounds about right. <laughs> oh, how could that be? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Paima meant that we should go find other people to ask. <laughs> Mr. Huffman, do you know about the Golden Apple Archipelago? It's on the sea. A golden apple archipelago on the sea? Uh... This is the first I've heard of it. Are they islands that grow many apples? Mm, so you also don't know? Well, given that husband's always just patrolling the city... <sighs> I do apologize. It's okay. I forgive you. Huh? Really? Uh, let's go ask someone else. Looks like the people of Mondstadt don't know anything about the place in this letter. Klee, is there anyone you can think of that you don't get along with? Would there be anyone who'd write a letter to scare you? No, I love everyone very much and everyone loves Klee very much. Hmm, Paimon thinks so, too. So it can't be a prank. Hmm, it's not a prank, yet no one knows where these islands are. Ugh, this is getting more and more confusing. Knowledgeable. Oh, right! We should ask Lisa about this kind of thing. She's at the library every day and has probably read every book in Mondstadt. Oh, Miss Lisa! 
Let's go to the library! It isn't Cutie, Paimon, and Klee. What brings you to the library all of a sudden? Miss Lisa, can you help Klee find an ar uh, archipelago? An archipelago? Dodo King told Klee to go to the Golden Apple Archipelago so he can challenge Klee. Don't worry, Klee. Let Paimon explain. Lisa, it's like this. Let me get this straight. To determine if Klee is worthy of becoming Dodoko's family, the ruler of the Dodo clan, Dodo King, wrote a letter to Klee summoning her to this Golden Apple Archipelago to be judged? Does that sum it up? Yes, I have to go! And you, cutie, sought me out to help Klee find the location of this Golden Apple Archipelago, correct? <laughs> How sweet of you to say. Then I have no choice but to assist you in earnest. Klee, can you show me that letter? Okay. Hmm. Though there's little information written upon the letter, have you all tried any other methods? Other methods? The letter contains faint elemental traces that seem more like a hint than anything else. Maybe try using your elemental sight. All right! Why didn't we think of that? Let's take a look! <sighs> Did you find anything? Most of the content on the reverse page was applied via elemental power. What an interesting approach. Here's a pen. Cutie, can I trouble you to copy down what you see with your elemental sight? The information on the reverse page is now clear. This drawing is likely of the Golden Apple Archipelago you've been looking for. A ton of small islands floating by themselves in the water without being anchored to any land. It's almost like they popped up from the seabed. Like they appeared out of thin air. Hmm. Paimon, you might be right. I don't understand what you mean. I've read every single book within this library's walls. Similar islands have been mentioned in some of them. A mysterious archipelago enveloped by storms and dense fog, belonging to no nation. That which is outside cannot enter, nor can anything inside leave. Only those who are chosen may enter its territory. Many years ago, a fleet from Mondstadt encountered some islands at sea. Reportedly, there were torrential rains and howling winds. The sailors could hardly discern land through the thick fog. The islands weren't far, but no matter how much they sailed, they never grew closer. The sailors were initially confused, but then became terrified, as they believed they were hallucinating. Wow, talk about mysterious and creepy! Unfortunately, the books do not record the location of these islands. I'm afraid that if you want more information, you'll have to find someone more knowledgeable than I. Aw, and Paimon thought Lisa would be the expert on this kind of thing. I am but a librarian who prefers to stay inside with her books. Klee, do you really want to go to those islands? It might be a very scary place. Yes, I want to go. <laughs> My, how brave. Far be it from me to scare a child. But Klee, you really should take someone with you, just in case. Someone reliable, like my cutie over here. Klee, you're not scared? 
I'm scared, but not being able to be Dodoko's family is even scarier. Dodoko is very important to me. I won't lose to Dodo King. I'll need to ask for some time off so I can go to the Golden Apple Archipelago and find Dodo King. Time off? That's right. I'm a knight of Favonius. Master Jean told me that if Clee wants to go someplace far, then she has to ask for time off. You're going to ask for time off. Now? We still don't even know where these islands are! Cutie, judging by the look on your face, you have an idea, don't you? It'll be up to you to get Jean's approval. I'll stay here and silently cheer for you all while enjoying a book and some tea. Master Jean, I want to ask for some time off because I want to go somewhere. Clee? Oh, and it's the honorary knight in Paimon as well. It's been a while, everyone. How have you been? Barbara's also here? How rare. <clears throat> oh, uh, of course not. Clee, why are you requesting time off all of a sudden? Clee's going to the Golden Apple Archipelago to meet the Dodo King, or else... Or else he'll take Dodoko away. Dodo King? Take Dodoko away? <laughs> he doesn't think that Klee is worthy of being part of Dodoko's family. I need to prove myself. Miss Honorary Knight will help me, right? Traveler, Paimon, is this so? I've never heard of the Golden Apple Archipelago. Where is it? I've also never heard of it. Me either. But Miss Lisa said that someone must know. So it's a place that even Lisa doesn't know? I see. From what you say, it seems to be quite a mysterious place. <sighs> I sincerely apologize, but I cannot approve Knight Klee's request for time off. Huh? But why? I must go! Even if these mysterious islands do exist, we cannot determine if they are safe or not. I cannot allow you to journey into a potentially dangerous place. But... If I don't go, Dodoko will be taken away. I... I don't want to lose Dodoko. Oh, Klee. Moreover, how do you intend to reach the islands? Without a safe and reliable plan drawn up, I'm afraid I cannot give you my approval. Honorary night. Outside. Can you think of a way to get to the islands? Paimon also thought of him just now. We're on the same wavelength as expected. Fenty? Oh, he's a magical bard that Paimon calls Tone Deaf Bard. Can he help me? He's our friend, so he'll definitely help. If he's a friend of the honorary knights, then things will work out for sure. We all know how reliable the honorary knight is. How about this? I'll try to persuade Master Jean. You all know she's a serious person, so I think it might take some time. Klee, trust me, okay? I'll do everything I can to help you. Okay, I can wait. <laughs> Wonderful. Tomorrow afternoon, let's all meet at the plaza outside the cathedral. I'm sure I'll have some good news. Oh, just leave it to me. You're so dependable. Do your best, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs>